Defending the world's largest network against constantly evolving cyber threats has driven us to develop advanced tools to help keep us and our customers ahead. I'm gonna go into detail on four ways we can help defend your business critical data and applications from some of today's biggest security threats. Let's start with ransomware. Recent Google research shows cyber thieves have made at least $25 million from ransomware in the last two years, and this is expected to grow. To protect ourselves and our customers from this and other types of malware, we've built multiple layers of protection, most of which are automated and available to our customers by default. First, our global visibility into malicious sites and content makes detection highly effective. If you're a Gmail user, we prevent thousands of malicious attachments from ever reaching inboxes. If something does reach your inbox, Google Safe Browsing in our Chrome browser protects users by identifying dangerous links in email and showing warnings if users click on them. This stops access to any websites which are known to distribute malware. If you've ever been blocked from a site like this, you've experienced safe browsing at work. Every minute of the day, we find and label another malware site and warn users of suspected malware hundreds of times. In Google Drive, all files undergo a malware scan prior to any download or sharing. Drive also stores files in non-executable formats, which prevent ransomware from propagating. Our Chrome operating system continually updates automatically, ensuring it's highly resistant to malware compromise. Applications are sandboxed to prevent harm to the host machine. Often these features remove any need for anti-malware or antivirus software. And at the mobile device level, every single day we check the health of over 400 million Android devices and scan over 6 billion mobile applications downloaded to Android phones to make sure they're not infected. Safe Browsing protects over 2 billion mobile phones, laptops, tablets, and other devices which use Google software. Now let's look at denial of service attacks. A distributed denial of service attack, or DDoS attack, is an attempt to make an online service unavailable by overwhelming it with traffic from multiple sources. They can have a huge impact if businesses aren't adequately prepared. As a Google Cloud customer, you are protected by default to this type of attack, as the scale of our infrastructure enables us to simply absorb many of them. For context, a huge attack last year had a strength of around one terabit per second. The whole internet has a bisection bandwidth of 200 terabits per second. Now when you compare this to a single Google data center, which has a bisection bandwidth of 1300 terabits per second, you can see we have built-in level of internal capacity multiple times that of any traffic load we anticipate. When there is an attack, we have time to isolate it and address it. But we don't stop there. In Google Cloud Platform, customers benefit directly from our central DOS mitigation service that provides an additional multi-tier, multi-layer protections and further reduces the risk to services running behind our Google front ends. When the system detects an attack is taking place, it can configure load balancers to drop or throttle traffic associated with the attack. So what do we do to prevent data breaches? It's critical to know where sensitive data is, but that can be difficult in complex systems. At Google, we encrypt our customers' data in different ways, depending upon what the data is doing and all of this happens by default with no user action required. Data is potentially vulnerable to unauthorized access as it travels across the internet or within networks. Because it's linked to most ISPs in the world, Google's private global network helps to improve the security of data in transit by limiting the hops across the public internet. Any data traveling from a customer's device to Google's cloud is protected using HTTPS or TLS, limiting opportunities for traffic to be intercepted. In fact, Google was the first major cloud provider to enable this by default. At Google, we encrypt our customers' data in different ways depending upon what the data is doing, whether it is stored, in a database, or in transit to and from Google. It all happens by default with no user action required. Data is encrypted at the hardware layer inside of our data center. That way, it can only be decrypted in our cloud on another verified Google machine. When it's stored, Data is broken up into numerous different shards and sent to different servers. This guards against hackers and is good for disaster recovery and business continuity, ensuring against natural disasters, unplanned downtimes, or equipment failures. When you call up a document in Google Drive, for example, the document is recalled from all of its storage points, decrypted, and reassembled in the blink of an eye. Additionally, as customers, you have the option of managing encryption keys with our cloud key management service or even supplying your own encryption keys if you're looking for additional granular levels of control. 
Data loss prevention is an effective technology to ensure that sensitive data doesn't leave the organization or get accessed by people that it's not intended for. In Google Cloud Platform and G Suite, users can find and secure sensitive content, minimize what data they collect, and implement data governance policies. Our DLP API helps you to manage and run analytics on your cloud data without introducing additional risk to your organization. It provides fast, scalable classification and optional redaction for over 40 sensitive data types, like credit card numbers, names, passport numbers, and more. As you can see here, it can be used to automatically classify or redact sensitive data from a text stream before you write it to disk, generate logs, or perform analysis on it. Finally, let's look at an attack that many organizations are concerned about, phishing. According to the 2017 Verizon Data Breach Investigations Report, 90% of all incidents and breaches that involve social actions by external actors include phishing. Everyone is overwhelmed with email, and it just takes one person to hurriedly click on a rogue message to have a phishing incident. If you've ever seen an email that looks like this, you'll know what I'm talking about. Our first defense is to prevent phishing emails from ever reaching people. Gmail filtering blocks the majority of malicious email, and our global visibility across users makes this visibility highly effective. Gmail also restricts the use of file types that carry a high potential for security risks, even inside a compressed file. If a malicious link gets through, the next layer of protection is safe browsing in Chrome, which prevents users from visiting known phishing websites where their credentials can be stolen or malware installed on their device. Then, even if an attacker manages to gain the credentials they were looking for, such as a username and password, we provide two-factor verification and security keys, which make the use of compromised credentials extremely difficult. Instead of entering a unique code as a second factor at sign-in, Security Key sends us cryptographic proof that users on a legitimate Google site and that they have their security keys with them. A physical action is required, and since most hijackers are remote, their efforts can be thwarted because they cannot get possession of the security key. To increase control further, businesses can take advantage of security key enforcement, which allows Google Cloud administrators to enable two-step verification that forces users to use security keys as the second factor. Security keys work with Google accounts at no charge, but you'll need to buy a compatible USB device directly from a U2F participating vendor. Finally, if a Chromebook somehow gets compromised as a result of a phishing attack, it can quickly and easily be restored to a known good state. As you can see, we're constantly innovating for our customers to help prevent compromises all across the stack. Compared to legacy security approaches, using Google Cloud means that typical deployment is faster and scale much more easily. Automation is easier, functionality evolves and improves more quickly, and often the cost of acquisition is lower.